free of politics, free of favoritism, and free of political micromanagement. What we set the charter is we set the, the uh, fees that the city council and the mayor would, uh, would be paid. And if you remember correctly, we set it to $5,000 for city councilmen and $7,500 to the mayor. And we did that for a reason, and we told everybody the reason. We did that because we didn't want to be professional politicians. We wanted to be civil servants. We did not want to be people like the city of Atlanta, like, the city, like Fulton County, where people come in and they make their living running a city and, and making decisions for the city. We promised people that we were going to go ahead and run a different type of city. We were going to go ahead and hire professional people to run the city as a professional corporation or as a professional city should be done. We would go ahead and have a city council that makes policy decisions. And we would leave the operational decisions to the operating professionals. Hence, we went through a long process. We interviewed. We had a big search committee there to find a city manager. We finally narrowed it down to three people. We brought them in. We talked to them, etc. We talked the other day about pre-inspections. Do we need pre-inspections? And one of our city councilmen who's very familiar with this type of thing mentioned to us we did. And as a policy decision, we went ahead and looked and said, we probably need to go ahead and do pre-inspections. That's a good policy. We talked about a tree survey. And we said, as a council, that's a good policy. We need to make sure we protect our trees. But then we went one step too far. Instead of giving a charge to our city manager and our community development people that this is what we want, you guys go ahead and implement this, we said, no, no, we're going to tell you how to implement this. The only thing, this would be something they'd be proud of in the city of Atlanta or Fulton County. The only thing that's missing is somebody's cousin to take the job. Well, that's not the way we run the city of Sandy Springs. We run the city of Sandy Springs by setting policy and having professional people go ahead and implement that policy. And this is just one further grab at that professionalism that we don't need. We spent 18 months putting together a contract committee. And in there, we didn't tell people how to do their job. We told them what we wanted. We'll tell them what we wanted, and they tell us how they're going to do it. And that's what they were judged on. And that's what we have to judge ourselves on, and that's what we have to judge our city staff on, and that's what we have to judge our city manager. Because if our city manager can't do better than to implement this decision, we need to get rid of the city manager. Current and he knows... And he knows, I'm, he knows I'm, I'm not talking about getting rid of him on here, but what I'm saying is we need to make sure that our people are implementing our decisions and we are not having to make day-to-day -day decisions. And for that reason, I am, I am just so opposed to us taking this step into micromanagement and further and further into micromanagement in this city. Because we have had a wonderful city here. We have got compliments from all over the country. We've got people coming in from all over the world to see how we run this city. And now we're saying, well, we're going to take a step back and go back to Fulton County and go back to the city of Atlanta. And I don't think that's where we want to be, and I am totally opposed to this for that reason and that reason only, that we shouldn't go ahead and micromanage the city.